It is day three of our trip and day two of our time in Tokyo Disney Resort. Today we are heading off to Disney Sea in this morning. But first we've got to check out of our hotel because we're checking into the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel tonight after the parks. So we're going to head downstairs in a sec, drop our luggage off. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure they're able to transfer luggage between partner resorts and Tokyo Disney hotels. Pretty sure they should be able to just send it across and by the time we get to our hotel tonight, it'll be there. Like, it's not that far anyway. We'll drop the bags off, head over to Bayside Station and catch the train to the monorail, sorry, to Tokyo Disney Sea, which is just the next stop after this one, so it's not super far. Yeah, I'm excited. I will turn you around so I can show you. I don't know if this is. Oh uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. So I've got this ghost Mickey look going on. This guy keeps falling off, but it's cute. I like it. Got like a slight plan um, of things I want to do, but I'll talk about that more when we get there because I don't want to waste any time. Uh, so let's go. Um, out of correction. It's day four of the trip, not day three, as Dylan pointed out. Thank you. All right, we are checked out. We just dropped our bags off as well, so that all went pretty smooth. Now we're just going to head downstairs and um, hopefully if, if there's no bus we'll just walk, it's not that far, and we'll head over to Bayside Station to get the monorail. We've been here for about 10 minutes. Um, it's 7.45 at the moment. Yeah, 7.45. Park will open. I think it lets people in from 8.30. But I wanted to explain like what the etiquette is here for like, getting into the parks. The park technically opens at 9, but everyone, like you get let in. Yeah, they let people in from 8.30. And the etiquette is usually to get here about an hour before that time um, if you want a good position. So I'm going to turn you around in a second and explain a bit better. So this is the line situation at the moment. So up there, you can kind of see there's like a security gate. That's where you get let in. And this is the line at 7.45. So continues all the way down there. And as people get off the monorail, they'll be heading back here and it'll just keep growing. So if you want to be towards the front, this is where you want to be. I think we're a lot closer today than we are than we were yesterday. With yesterday, the security it worked a little bit differently. So the security you could get through before you line up at the gate. And the line was pretty big for security but it moved quickly and then once you get past security you sit in a line like this whereas Disney Sea looks like it's doing it all at the same time. Also I believe if you are staying at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel or one of the actual resort hotels, so Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, Miracosta, Toy Story, Disney Ambassador, that kind of thing, you get the 15 minute early entry. I don't know exactly where that is, I'm sure I'll find out in the next day. 
but you can get until I think from 8.15 instead so you get a 15 minute window before everybody else. Also while we're waiting in line I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the ride situation here. It looks like there's a lot more rides on Premier Access here than there are at Disneyland. I think there was only three total at Disneyland whereas this one has so many. So we've got Soaring, we've got Tower of Terror, Toy Story Mania and Journey to the Center of the Earth. So they're all the big ticket rides, the ones you're probably going to wait a long time for. Don't know the exact pricing on Access Pass. I will ask, oh, I will check once we get in. There's quite a few on the 40th anniversary priority pass as well. So we've got 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. We've got, that's a show. Raging Spirits, Indiana Jones, Nemo. And Turtle Talk, which is a, it's like a, you know, a mini show thing. This announcement goes off like every five minutes. I'm trying to like get in the gaps between the rest of it. I'm guessing it's just, you've got to do what you got to do to get onto them. A lot of them are like not super busy rides anyway. So we'll see what we can cover. Our priorities, I think what we're going to try and aim to do is run straight to Tower of Terror because that's like our favorite ride. Second being journey to the center of the earth so those are the two priorities and then we're going to try and book one of our um, anniversary priority passes straight away to maybe get either 20,000 leagues under the sea or indiana jones or something it is 8:22, and these are the lines now so this is why you don't want to get here bang on half an hour before the park opens when they let you in because you're going to be that far down the line for us why not too bad you do have to sit around for an hour or so, but if you bring some snacks or something with you, it should be fine. I don't know if I can zoom in that far, but I'm pretty sure there's characters on the other side there waving at people. Happy Halloween. We're moving. It's 8.26. We're heading towards the security gate. Security's done. Now we're in second line. Update. It's 8:42. Still waiting here. All right, we're moving. It's 8:45. Getting in, I think. <laughs> Let's go. We're in. Universal Studios. Universal Studios Tokyo. This is what. Tokyo Disney Sea at open looks like it's just like floods of people heading to the wards the same rides. <laughs> Hi, so nice. We're making our way to Tower of Terror, but on the way, I'm gonna try and sort out this 40th anniversary priority pass. Here are options. We've got oh what? I can't even see 20,000 leagues. I think it's out. All right, so let's take Indiana. Indiana 94, 9.45 40th anniversary pass Done, alright that's done Oh look at the little Halloween decorations So cute Wow Hi guys I'm us <laughs> oh, the pumpkin stacks are so cute. All right, we're gonna mostly follow the crowd this way towards the Tower of Terror and Toy Story kind of area. Just pretty much have to cross this bridge up here, and then you'll be able to see it. We're just rounding the corner towards the. I don't know what this section is actually called. You have a lot of legs out of all of us. There she is. You can see her peeking out from behind the building. I hope the wait time's not too bad. I'm hoping that most of the people running are going for Toy Story Mania because they really love it here for some reason. Even though it's like the exact same as Midway Mania. Alright, moment of truth. What's the damage? I can't even see a wait time on the screen. How to cut salmons? 
There was no wet time on the actual towel, I mean on the screen, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. <laughs> to give you an understanding of the, the premier access passes for the rides here. So Tower of Terror is 1500 yen, which actually is the cheapest, one of the cheapest of the four. Toy Story Mania is 2000, so it's like 20, 20 Australian per person. Journey is 1500 yen, so $15, and Soaring is 2000 as well. That was so good. <laughs> it's like the perfect, if you're feeling sleepy when you get here, go on Tower of Terror and you won't be tired anymore. I'll tell you that much. I'm awake and I'm feeling good. We're trying to head towards Journey. It was, when we were in, in the line for Tower of Terror, it was like a 30 minute wait. And then since getting off, it's gone up to 60. I'm just gonna go there and see how bad it is. Again, it's one I think that like the longer we leave it in the day, the worse the wait will be. So it might even be just better to do it, even if it is a long wait. When we got in the line, it was saying 60 minutes. Now it's saying like 80. It's currently 9.34. I'd say maybe we got in the line at like 9.30. And I'll let you know how long it actually takes. So I just went on 9.45. And we were able to select our next 40th anniversary priority pass. I went in there. I don't know if it's going to be able to show you anymore because I've already done it yet. Um, but Indiana is basically sold out for the day already. Uh, so we booked Raging Spirits, we're basically, we're due to go back now for Indiana. We have between now 9.45 and 10.45, so I am just praying that we get through this line a bit quicker than we anticipated. If it takes us an hour, um, you know, we still have some time from when we first joined the queue, but if it's looking like it's going to be cutting it close, we might just have to cut our losses and, and ditch. So. I'm hoping it's not the case, but we'll see.
Oh my god, you guys. I'm out of breath. We got off the ride. We made it to a journey of the center of the earth. Got off at 10.40. Then we sprinted from there to here. We got to the priority gate with one minute to spare. And we made it. Oh. It would have been fine if the ride didn't stop at the start for like three or four Yeah, minutes. we had like a delay on the ride for like four minutes. I was like, of course this happens. The one time we need to be somewhere. But it's all good. We didn't waste our pass. Thank God. I don't have him actually. Do you have Oswald? I also don't have Oswald. <laughs> We're back after Indiana Jones, a very eventful time for us getting here, but we made it, we made the ride, the ride was good. I think it's like more or less the same one at Disneyland, but it was fun. It is currently 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. We're hungry and that running definitely did not help that. So we're gonna make our way back to the Mediterranean Harbour and go to Zambini's and get some food. And I also wanna show you like the Mermaid Lagoon area cause we pretty much had to sprint past it on the way here and it's so pretty. And we might check out some shops on the way as well. It's Agrabah. It's Mermaid Lagoon, the sun is kind of ruining it like it usually it looks really pretty I promise <laughs> it's just like a pastel dream and then inside there there's like a bunch of rides like little mermaid themed rides and things like that we'll come back we'll definitely come back later and show you a bit more but we're on a mission right now <laughs> popcorn of the day Caramel. You want to give it a taste? <laughs> You're gangry. It's caramel, baby. <laughs> It's a bit better. It's so close. This is why I love Disney Sea so much. Like the theming here is next level. Look at this. Oh, I wonder if Twenty Thousand Leagues has opened up. I'm pretty sure that's the queue, but I'm not 100% sure. It's also a boat. and around the world it's very popular here I haven't checked the app in a while but last time it had like a hundred and something minute wait I wonder if that's still the case okay so it's gone down from 130 it's at 105 though which is still like one of the longest waits in the park at the moment I mean I don't mind Soren but it's not my favorite ride very skippable in my opinion 
Here we are, Zambini Brothers restaurant. Gonna get some meatballs, I think. Gotta check the menu again. Ooh. Braised beef with mashed potatoes and pastry, spaghetti with seafood, choice of drink. I can't see the meatballs on here. I wonder if there's more. It does say oh, okay, cool. Alright, let's go in. It's lunchtime. I got spaghetti meatballs. I say lunch, we haven't had breakfast. This is like breakfast lunch. Um, I got this, it's just the pumpkin milk with tapioca. And then you can add this little extra souvenir coaster on. And I saw it yesterday and I said I was gonna buy it when I came back to Disneyland, but this time I actually found a drink I wanted to get, so yeah. And look, the meatballs are in my Mickey shape. And look at our view for lunch as well. This is pretty. Dylan, what have you got? Long pizza, and a churro, and, and a Coca-Cola. Okay, let's eat. Meatballs were delicious. Now, it's time to try my pumpkin tapioca milk. With, oh no, pumpkin milk with tapioca. treat maybe a cool treat so I think we're gonna head back towards um, where journey was and there's an ice cream place in there that sells different types of ice cream so we might head there and get some snackies they don't do turkey legs here they do spicy smoked chicken leg and look at the queue it's very popular
Next treat is the mini peach and raspberry bar, ice bowl. Mmm, so nice. It's so refreshing. It's not like it's super hot right now, but it's sunny. We've done a lot, so this is great. such a long wait and I don't know I, I've, like, I, I've done the ride before at other parks and like it is cool here and I love the theming of like the outdoor area but like I just wasn't in the mood to line up for like, so, like it was like 80, 80 90 minutes at that point for to line up for it and I just wasn't in the mood so we left and then we went to go get some, some more snacks we got the alien mochi from Zambini's again because the we went to Mama Scotty's Bakery, but it was the line was like out the door, and Zambini's is like walk-in service. So like if that's a little, little hack for you there, if you want any mochi, you don't want to wait in line, go to Zambini's. Um, we got mochi. We came back here to the waterfront um, to watch the Halloween. It's like a Halloween show. It was very brief. Again, it's like the one that we watched earlier where they just come out on the boats and they do like little dance and it was really really cute though and like they were all in their hanging outfits and everything so that was really fun and now we've booked a premier access pass for Tower of Terror for like 440 pm so it's currently 420 so we've got 20 minutes till our window opens. To be honest with you like we've done most of the rides that I wanted to do we could go and do rides like the Finding Nemo ride or like Autotopia or whatever but like you know the fact that I've been here before I'm almost tempted to take it easy and like enjoy the other side of of the park which is the food and like just the ambience and um, yeah just like the environment of, of the park because it, there's so much to see here and might be like it's absolutely beautiful and if you don't stop and take it in you, you miss out so yeah that's what we're doing I would love to get an alcoholic drink as well. I don't know what my odds are of doing that because there's basically some options at like food trucks and like the little vans and things. There is a couple of bars but they are, they mainly take reservations so I don't know if I'll be able to get in but we might try. When we go back to Tower of Terror maybe we'll check out, um, I know there's like Teddy Roosevelt's so maybe we'll walk past and see if anything can happen. But anyway, it's been very chill but very fun today so far. It's you know, we've still got some time to go. I don't know how late we're going to stay. I definitely would like to see the 7.30 like a show out again on the waterfront, which is like an exclusive Tokyo Disney Sea one. And then at 8.30 they have the Sky Full of Color fireworks. But if it's going to be anything like 
last night. I'll probably just give it a miss because if it's just five minutes of fireworks, I can live without it. And I do really want to go check into our hotel and check out our Beauty and the Beast room. So I'm just rambling. I'm very tired. Um, like I, I definitely hit a wall today. There was a point, I can't remember, I think we were on Sinbad's at one point and I almost fell asleep. Like I'm, my energy is going but I'm trying to soldier on because we're at Disney, you know? So, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, see you later. <laughs> That is very you, Dylan. Tokyo Disney C, 5,900 yen. Very cool. That's oh, alright, I got it. Look at this bag. It's like a coat, but it's a bag. This is all the Toy Story merch in the Tower of Terror shop. Not much in terms of actual Tower of Terror merch here. They do have this shrieky, tiki thing. It's kind of cool. This is fun. Donald. I haven't seen a lot of this. This is cute. Look at these. <laughs> What's that? What's what? Is that Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> I really like this pack. I might buy it. I think I will. It's at Disneyland too, so I'll probably buy it tomorrow, but very cute. It's four key ears. This is the first time I've seen these. You can get a, a bin. It's like a replica of the ones in the parks. It's kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Tower of Terror pin. Toy Story Mania pin, Magic Lamp Theatre, King Trent's concert. Okay, very cool. Anything new here? Not really. Is it cute? I saw them yesterday. <laughs> I've seen everyone wearing these and I've been jealous. They had a, a ghost Mickey one like this come out this year, but it's sold out. It's actually kind of cute too. What are we in different? I don't know if I love them as much as the other ones, but they're still cute. Can I see what it TBC. I've got new, uh, of course, soap. I just bet some things. Time for dinner. Um, I don't. I was just really curious about this, so I don't know if it's going to be any good. But this is the bacon cheeseburger casserole. 
So it's like fully submerged in like cheese and other stuff and there's some onion rings. Um, I got that in a set so it came with chips and a drink. I opted for a sparkling cocktail um, which I'm going to have to try and I hope it's good. I just, it's the first cocktail I've seen today and I was like, you know what, I want to have a drink while I'm here. So I did that. I also grabbed this which is the maple pumpkin churro. I've wanted to grab one this time um, that I've been here but every time I've walked past the cart that's selling them it's like such a huge line so if I can avoid it I'm gonna do that so this is everything that we've got I'm just waiting for Dylan he's just gone to order his dinner and yeah then we'll give it a go okay take two um, we can't use tripods in Tokyo Disney they're completely banned so I'm making do with what I have here and I can taste everything so I'm going to start with this burger casserole I'm definitely not eating the coleslaw do I cut this up? I guess so It's interesting. It tastes like a cheeseburger. But it's, I don't know, it's just something weird about it. I think it's like the, I don't know if this is cheese or what this is. I'll keep eating it, but I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if you can hear this music, but it's basically the Colson theme song. Anyway, this is the sparkling cocktail, which I believe has, it's a rum cocktail. Um, and some kind of grape or something. Anyway. Mm, I like this. Refreshing. Alright, Dylan's giving me a bite of his pastrami sandwich. Ooh. That's yummy. That's good. I think it's better than my burger casserole, <laughs> whatever this is. Anyway, I'm back to try my maple pumpkin churro. Mmm. It's, it's sweet. It's nice. Yeah, that's cute, but who's this? This. Yeah. Oh, it's, maybe it's a heffalum. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at those. Look at those. I'm basically only looking for merch that's exclusive. Oh, it's a cute rug. Yeah, I'm mainly looking for stuff that I didn't see yesterday, and I, I might have skimmed over some things. <laughs> Huey, Louie, and Dewey. So cute, look at the little heart embossing. Love. Found some exclusive mugs. Tokyo Disney Sea. And then we've got another Tokyo Disney Sea in pink. This one. There we go. Winnie the Pooh. And a matching bowl. And plates. Okay, I definitely don't remember seeing this guy yesterday. He is plastic though. I thought he was going to be glass. But he's cute. How much is it? 800 yen. That's actually not bad. And then we have these. I I remember, I think I still have them, maybe. There's um, Tokyo Disney Resort candy cases of like Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. The collector's item. Got a bunch of like waffle irons. How much are you? 3,900 yen. I don't need it. We have Mickey Waffle things. I mean, they're different. They're not the exact same, but how does that even work? How do you cook it? You heat, like, heat it up on top of the stove. Oh, yeah. No, that's too much work. But they also have that one, which I have something similar at home, and then they have flounder, and then they have like a Baymax one. 
This is the confectionery store. It's too hectic. I'm not going to film it, but they have a lot of similar stuff at Tokyo, so I'll probably show you that tomorrow. I'm going to continue on to other shops. I have not seen these before. They're like Christmas sweaters. Yeah. How does that get How cool. Oh, I love this. Toy Story Hotel. I wonder if I can actually get that at the. Surely you can get that at the hotel. This is kind of cool that you can buy it if you're not staying there. These have not seen them before. How many? 1900 yen. That's not gonna focus with 1900 yen. Anything else? I haven't seen these. They're like fluffy. So cute. 1900 yen, and then there's like a blue version. Same one. I honestly don't know what I have and haven't seen anymore, but I don't recall seeing these Aristocats beanie things. And they've got all three of them. They've got Marie, Toulouse, and I forgot what the third one's name is. Earlier or something? I don't know. Anyway, they've got all three cats. It's actually really cute, and I haven't seen this before. I like the little castle embroidery, and we've got a Mickey Waffle. And then we've got the, like, the partner statue, Walt and Mickey. We've got these three down the bottom, Tokyo Disney Resort in different colours. These are interesting, um, choice. Some little dress shirts. Okay, I think this is this is this is where I wanted to, to be. We've got the Duffy and Friends merch in this shop. Um, I want to get over there eventually. But look at these slippers. They are scrunchy. This little, what is it? Toothbrush set and other things. Is that a laptop case? Maybe? Those are so cute. I need him. These are so cute. Olu, Shelly Mae. Not Shelly Mae, Stella Lou. Shelly Mae, Cookie Ann down there, Duffy, and Gelatoni. Lots of Lena Bell. All reading books. Cookie. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. How much are all of these? Like 22. That's crazy. It's like 22 dollars for this keychain. Got like a little Cape Cod range. Look at this bag. 1,300 yen. Oh my gosh. The different ones. Even sleeping all at the end there. Nina Bell plush. She is 4,000 yen. Look at these ones behind the counter. Like, that's how big you can get them. You found them. You found the ears that I want. Oh, I, I see. My mistake. Cute. Say cheese. And die. <laughs> I found my sweet boy, Olu Mel. Dylan, look who I found. Olu Mel. You said, can I come home with you? Please. Please. Alright, so we found the Duffy and Friends ear wall. So we've got Olu Mel, Stella Lude. Gelatoni, Shelly Mae, Cookie Ann, and Lena Bell at the end. And then we also have these like little bags. Um, I think they're different to like the pass holder ones, which is what I ideally would want. I think those are a bit too bulky for me. But they are cute. It's Duffy shaped pasta. Memory go round. I actually really like that design. It's cute. Whoa, what are, what are you? What is he? He's like hot a, air balloon. He's a hot air balloon. What's the purpose of? Oh. Whoa. He's like a, a cushion. I don't know if I've seen these. Oh. I also like this hat. Dream go round. 
It's kind of cool. We're staying there soon. We've got these blind boxes with like different areas of the park. So we've got like Triton's Kingdom. Oh, this is all Little Mermaid, and then this one's like main areas of the park. It's that. Oh, it's that entire Tokyo Disney Sea. That's cool. And you can get the Disney Resort Cruiser. Oh, my boy Chandu. I haven't seen anything Chandu. This is so cute, but I, I really wish that they had his pass holder pouch. I love that, but I don't think they have it anymore. This is cute. Random Simba. He's an explorer. Buggy Donald. And we've got this Aladdin. <laughs> I haven't seen these. These guys. We've got pumps for everyone. It's the black pepper popcorn. I really like this one. Solid. Eight, nine, eight or nine out of ten, I would go. Just checking in, we checked in to our room at Disneyland Hotel, Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. We're just trying to find an elevator. Here we go. To go to our room. I'll do a bit of a recap on the rest of our park day shortly, but this is more pressing. On the first floor. Is this it? 
1502. You do the honours. Oh my gosh. You guys. Uh, I'm just going to walk into it. Holy shit. This is a big room. <laughs> oh my god, it's huge. No wonder it's so expensive. <laughs> wow. Alright, let me put my bags down. Okay, let me give you the tour from start to finish. So this is the entryway already. So magical. We've got this really cute little like table and mirror vanity kind of thing. So you could I could totally do my makeup here tomorrow. Which is stunning. Then we're behind us we've got the actual bathroom, another beautiful vanity. And the thing that's awesome about this Tokyo Disney Hotel is that they always give you so many cute amenities. I still have one of these from when I last stayed. So we have these little kits, toothbrush, and these little cups as well. Um, I don't know what these are. I'm gonna open it. What's in here? Okay, this is a toilet. It's just a regular toilet, but look at the wallpaper. Oh my gosh, Beauty and the Beast wallpaper. Okay, I'm gonna close that. I'm guessing the other side is the shower, and look at the look at the door. The art. Here we go. Bath. They've got this little window here the rose on it. I don't know where that leads to but very cool. Then leads into the rest of the room. It's the cupboard and you also get slippers with Mickey on them. They look huge so they probably won't fit me but that's okay. We've got that and we've got this little kitchen area with some Tea and we've got some Beauty and the Beast artwork on the wall. What's in here? There's a fridge. Yeah, a little fridge. I don't think there'll be anything in there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, we got water. Yay! Thank you, Tokyo Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. Some glasses. And then this is the rest of the bedroom. So we've got a couch over here chair and then we've got the TV and the wardrobe kind of set up another mirror table what's this Tokyo Disneyland Hotel I think it's a tote bag totally taking that home and then we've got the beds so this room has three beds and they'll have a, like that really cute Beauty and the Beast bed linen and like a little rose bed head and then you've got the painting on the wall it looks like a bookshelf and these curtains everything's just amazing and we've got this on the wall too oh that's the there's the window to the bathroom you can't see anything through it but it's still cool hello I am coming to you to do a wrap up I'm, I'm super late I've been all over the place but it's currently 11.14. I'm supposed to be in bed, but I've been distracted doing other things, um, obsessing over this room, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I just thought I would do a really quick wrap up because I wanted to, you know, give the vlog an end. I wanted to just catch you up on anything I missed from the last bit of the day. I know I kind of covered when we checked into the Disney, um, Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, but just prior to that, I think my last update was maybe, it's probably dinner time. I think we were both kind of just really tired and all the wait times were quite high. So I was like, you know what, let's just go like have a look around the shops. So we spent a good half an hour or so just wandering, having a look around the shop, seeing all the merch. I bought like one thing. Um, I'm being really good. I'm doing all my shopping tomorrow. I bought some gelatoni ears. Uh, and that's the only thing I bought. Uh, so I'm really proud of myself, actually. There was a lot of cute Duffy and Friends merch that I've popped into the vlogs. But I just, I personally couldn't justify it for myself. It was very cute, but I, I know I didn't need it. After that, we settled in for the Believe Sea of Dreams show at 7.30. 
I really enjoyed it. It was kind of like harmonious vibes, but with more boats on the water. You know, they don't have as much space to put on a show as some of the other parks and like they pretty much only have the waterfront. I thought it was really impressive. I thought it was beautiful and they used the um, the buildings as kind of projections as well. So I did film some of it but I didn't film the entire, entire show because you know I wanted to enjoy it as well but also spoilers. But we um, ended up leaving not long after. I think uh, like my feet were absolutely aching at that point and we were both just wrecked. So we headed back to the hotel, checked in, bags came like half an hour after we checked in and then Dylan pretty much fell asleep straight away. I've been doing all sorts of things, having a mini photo shoot in here. I do need to like sort my bags out because we are checking out in the morning and then going to Toy Story Hotel tomorrow but I'm so tired I think I'm just gonna go to bed and deal with it later. So this is me signing off for the night. Disney Sea was a lovely day out. If you're on the fence about going to Disney Sea, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite parks. There's not as many rides as Disneyland, but I think there's so much more. I, it's much, a much more adult park in the way that you can, you know, spend your day just eating and drinking around the park, and it's just as enjoyable. I, love, I just love being at that park. It's it's got such a beautiful atmosphere, beautiful, amazing food, and the rides are really good. So. Please don't sleep on Tokyo Disney Sea. I'm going to go to bed because I'm, my eyes, like, I can't get my eyes open. So thank you for joining me yet again and for putting up with all my rambling because my brain is just goo at this point. Tomorrow we are heading to Disneyland for the last day at the parks and we're also checking into the Toy Story Hotel tomorrow evening, which will be really exciting. Make the most of the day. Probably won't be there till close, though. Lots of shopping will be, will be happening. Hopefully I can do some more eating as well. I feel like I didn't do many snacks. Like I did the basic ones, but there was a lot that I didn't do because of lines and stuff. So I'm going to try and get on top of that. We also have early entry tomorrow because we're staying at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel tonight. So that will be interesting. See how that works. So I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye.